I've got a bunch of Schwartz to show you guys. Gosh. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm looking at right now. My husband built this. It's a Lego Mustang. And he's very proud of it. I got it for him for his, I guess, for Father's Day. And he wanted it really badly. So a um, little hobby of his is putting Lego sets together. <laughs> and so that's what I'm staring at today. I thought it would be a good idea and a fun idea to tell you a little bit about myself um, since you know, people are coming in week to week. And I thought it would be fun to just tell you what I'm doing these days and what, I, what I'm about and what I'm um, currently doing on social media. But my name is Mara and I am doing quite a bit actually. I first started getting into social media by being um, through my business. Um, I have a jewelry brand called Maricotta. And so that is what kind of kickstarted my um, presence on social media and got me really familiar with Instagram and the algorithm and all that. And I just feel like that is a job in itself and is not easy for one mentally and emotionally, but I think it's something that is really fun at the same time. It can be also really um, life-giving and um, beneficial, especially when you're in business. So, and then I started kind of growing my personal brand through YouTube and through um, Instagram, um, primarily with fashion and interiors, which is why I think I'm here on Vera Shop today, which is so cool because I love talking about pretty things and styling and all the things so I can go over everything that I'm wearing right now and the different pairs of shorts that I will be um, talking about and styling today. But yeah, I have a huge passion for all things lifestyle and expressing yourself through fashion and, and personal um, style, design, all of the things. Also art, obviously, because I make jewelry. Um, I'm, not mar I'm not wearing any of my jewelry right now. I actually forgot to wear my rings, but um, right now what I'm wearing for jewelry, which is a pretty, is pretty much a go-to for me, is um, uh, gold jewelry. So these two pieces, there is like a layered necklace, and then a um, this thick one is a chevron necklace, I think is what it's called, and they're both from Missouri. Love their jewelry, really great quality and um, really great prices at the same time. So something I enjoy. And you know what, actually right here, this watering can, let me show you what that looks like. I didn't add this to the presentation, but I did get this recently. Um, and it is really pretty. It's like this pretty terracotta color and it looks like it's clay, but it's actually just plastic. Um, really sturdy. It's just a watering can, but I have a lot of plants. And so we need that good watering system. And along with my business, I gave birth to my daughter back in, what was it? <laughs> I forgot.
have a husband. His name's Alec right now. He's actually at a dealership. We're thinking about buying a car. And that's like a, a whole other story because the market right now, house and car wise, is just really crazy. But you got to do what you got to do. And you need a car when you need a car. So we are looking on the market for a good fuel efficient car. Um, but enough about me. Let's talk about what I'm wearing right now. So you'll come to find, I'll tell you a little bit about the shorts and why I'm not actually wearing the three right now. But right now I'm wearing a pair of shorts that are very similar to um, the ones I'm gonna show today. But what I'm gonna present right now is the A Goldie 90s short. Let's see how I can do this. Present to audience, yes, okay, we got it. Now these shorts, the ones I'm wearing in particular are from Madewell, but the A Goldie ones are very similar. Um, the only thing I will say is, actually, no, I think they're both true to size or they're both equivalent in size. I think um, with the shorts I'm gonna show you today, they run one size big, personally, because um, normally I'm a 24 and I um, bought the wrong size on those two, uh, on those three shorts and the ones um, that are shown right now on a Goldie. But these ones are for Madewell. I think these are a size 23 actually now that I think about it, but um, I got a size 24 on all of my shorts. So, but the whole point of these are that it's that 90s kind of like almost like a Bermuda short look. Um, so it has that longer inseam, but also is very like distressed and relaxed. And I paired it with this really pretty satin button down top. I tied it to make it look a little bit more edgy. Um, this, I tried finding a similar one on Bear Shop, but I couldn't find one. But the funny part is this is from a brand called Nap Loungewear. And like in the name loungewear, this is a pajama shirt, which I think is really funny, but like it doesn't really look like one when you when you style it correctly. And then I got my trust trusted cowboy boots. Um, I love these. I just love like adding a little bit of a Western touch to any outfit, especially if it's more of like a classy, edgy outfit. Adding the cowboy boots really ties it in. And then I've got my jewel my gold jewelry, of course. And I chose not to wear earrings today. I think if I were to rethink it, I would probably wear them on my second hole, just the really simple, small um, gold hoop or something like that. And I also have this really pretty dainty um, gold piece. Um, and then as far as makeup goes, I've never been a super huge makeup person as far as um, being experimental with things. I actually used to wear eyelash extensions all the time um, for the past several years, but I actually recently just got rid of them. And so now I'm going bare eyed. I actually have like some mascara on um, and then I really like to accentuate the brows. Not like super crazy, but this is much more than I already have like naturally. So um, yeah, this is the look. Hopefully you can see correctly. That has our Wi-Fi password on it, <laughs> but very cute, very classy, great dinner, um, night out, which, hmm, I love it. Maybe I'll wear this on my next date night with my husband, but let's get into the shorts that I have right now. Um, so I showed you the A Goldie 90 short so far. So here I'm going to move on to the Madewell long inseam relaxed fit You can even like roll this down. Um, 
but then you can dress it up by putting some sort of button down top over it, maybe tucking it in, because I think these are high waisted, so these would work great to tuck them in. But then with either boots or even kitten heels, that would make it really cute and classy. Um, or some chunky gladiators, like the ones I wear all the time. Or it's just some normal booties that have like a pointed toe. That would be really, really cute. But these are really great. I love that they're distressed. I just love the juxtaposition of any fashion because nowadays I feel like we're all getting really creative. And the fact that we can match like super distressed relaxed shorts with a really dressy feminine top is genius because you can only mix and match so long before you're like, oh, yeah, I'm wearing the same clothes over and over again. But these are great. I love that it's a longer inseam. I would say these are about maybe a four or a five inch inseam. I love that. I think the super short short trend, um, that, was, that was going on back when I was in like high school. <laughs> and a little bit into college, but now I'm very, very comfortable with the longer inseam, as you can see, obviously, I wear these quite a bit, and I think these will distress really well over time as you wash them. They'll kind of look like these, because these are made well as well, and so um, made well also is known for really great denim, really great quality, so these will last you over time. Um, and I also believe that over time, like during the day, between washes, they stretch. So also keep that in mind. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the deal. So these are $34 if you add them to your bag and purchase now and 30 minutes after the live stream ends, which is so great. Like that's such a great deal, especially for Madewell. I mean, Madewell isn't the most expensive, but $34 for shorts is a really great deal. So we love a good made well, a good sturdy pair of distressed denim shorts. Like I said, beach, dinner, um, what else, picnic. I mean, I feel like the options are endless when it comes to a pair of good denim shorts. And I feel like the key is the fit and just like how it suits your specific body. And also what I really love about Fair Shop is that they do, sh they um, make returns very easy and they're free returns. So like if these don't work for you, there will be another pair that does work for you. And so we love that. We love the versatility of denim shorts and the many, many, many looks that you can accomplish with these. And so for me personally, I always like to get at least one or two I basically splurge on one or two pairs of denim shorts each summer um, based on, I guess, like the silhouette that's like in style or if, you know, my particular preferences have changed in the, in the past year. So I always love changing it up and Madewell is definitely one of those brands that I would um, consider to be uh, super reliable. And then that brings me to the next pair of shorts, which are also from Madewell, and I will make sure to switch that. Right. And if you were thinking that that inseam was not long enough, you'll think that these are perfect because these are the baggy Bermuda shorts. And obviously, as you can tell, I'm in love with the Bermuda look and Man, I wish that me in middle school slash high school, I wish that this was a thing back then because I remember having, I remember having super strict parents that didn't want me to wear short shorts. And at the time in 2010 to 2014, it was like super, it was like the only thing. Like if you wore shorts like this back then, you were, I guess not accepted in high school and um, now it's a thing, so let's ride this train as long as possible. But again, um, this wash of denim is my favorite so far. Like, it's just so easy. Um, it is more on the casual side, I would say, but like nowadays a lot of us are working from home or working from coffee shops or, you know, co-working and we don't need anything more formal than this. And 
just a good long denim is great. So um, I will say these also ran a little big, but they're also baggy. They're meant to be baggy. So maybe I'll like to try them on with a new set of eyes because I just, I love them. I love the distressed look. And um, I love when jeans don't have any design on the pockets too. It's kind of a random quirk that I look at and observe, but um, we love a good relaxed denim and this one is longer. So um, the difference would be that these have the rips and are I think like a four or a five inch inseam. These do not have rips, but still um, provide that casual look. And I would say this is maybe like an eight inch inseam. I could be wrong, but that's about what it looks like. They're both high-waisted and they're both very affordable and both would do very well with the outfit. Like I curated this outfit to make sure that it would go well with all three shorts. Um, and I just love a good cowboy boot with Bermuda shorts. It's just like so fun and different and not something that you see just like at any point of the day. It's just kind of like a statement type of look, but it's very comfortable and very um, fun. But also I'm in Texas, so I'm, I am very curious to see if this is the same thing in other areas of the country, like Los Angeles or New York, like do people wear cowboy boots? I don't know. But okay, so these are the two made well. If any of you guys have questions about these two, just go ahead and let me know. Love them. And the next pair that I'll be talking about is a Goldie. This brand of jean and just denim in general is my favorite. Like I got my first pair of Igoldi jeans a couple weeks ago or maybe several weeks ago, but, um, and I showed them on my last live and I'm obsessed. Like the denim, the quality of denim, denim is unmatched and they have great fits. Um, I expected my jeans to be too long cause they usually are. I'm five, two and a half. So like, Jeans are typically really long on me, but the Igoldi ones were really perfect, honestly. So I appreciate that about a jean brand. So these are the Parker Vintage High Rise, High Rise Cutoff Short, there we go. And as you can see, this one compared to the two Madewell jeans is a little bit darker, it has a little bit of acid um, wash, but not like super crazy, it's just more of um, dimension in the uh, wash and like I said this quality of jean is so it's just unmatched and I think even more than those for me well this is even more casual like this is barbecue this is um, you're doing 20 things a day because it's summer and you just want to have fun and feel relaxed um, and comfortable and these are it because they're not too high waisted to where it's kind of like hitting you it's kind of that like mid high rise and then they're a little shorter just to be a little more flirty and you can see the pockets here are kind of like up to make your booty look good which I think some of us really need help with including me <laughs> but we love um just a cute cut off short like does this remind you of Jessica Simpson at all especially with the boots I would totally wear these shorts um with this outfit like I said these were a little big on me so um I would consider going a size down from what you're used to wearing this is it's, it's made of organic denim which is very great um no synthetic fertilizers harmful pesticides or GMOs so we love that and a Goldie seems to be based in Los Angeles, which is great. US based jean shorts and the inseam on these are, it's about two inches. So pretty short, um, but still doable, like nothing crazy, but definitely on the shorter side, at least for me. Um, you guys let me know if you think, if you're more on the short, 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 side or more of the Bermuda longer side but love these so much and I can tell I can just tell already these are going to um, distress really well over time once you like wash them a few times it's just gonna look really really nice so I love that 
Okay. There are, there's one more pair that I do want to talk about before getting off here is another pair from A Goldie. And sorry, I got to fix my baby here. So these crisscross high rise, like you probably have seen these everywhere in the past couple maybe a couple years or so. Um, they're super trendy for sure, but I think they're just very unique at the same time. They're very cool. So instead of having like the button come up here, it's like a crisscross cr criss action. Um, and it just adds a little bit of interest in your outfit, even if it's a super simple detail. And I think it's something that will be here for a while um, just because it's such a simple detail. So like if it's a super um, out there statement, I feel like the lifetime of that trend is going to be much shorter versus if you have like a more subtle detail that's a little different, like these shorts, um, that will be there a little longer. So I love that it kind of cinches you at the waist, adds, adds a little bit of interest, and then also have a little bit of a longer inseam. I want to say those are probably like a some, somewhere between six and eight inseam. Um, and the wash, again, is very similar to this Madewell wash. I guess, like, this is the best way I can show you what the, that would look like. Kind of like this. Um, and they're very cool. And I will say for A Goldie, these specifically need, uh, I think you need, a, you need a size down for these. Um, well, for all of them, but with these crisscross high rises, I definitely think you should because um, they, I, I don't know why, I think it's just because they kind of go in and they're supposed to be a little bit more baggy and relaxed. Um, but I love those shorts. I also love the jean version of those shorts, which I think um, they do have that on Vera Shop, which is really great. So the jeans version, the shorts version are going to be spectacular for this season as well as throughout the year. Um, but also what I love about the Bermuda short trend and what's going on right now is that this outfit can literally, can literally be worn um, in the fall. Um, well, at least where I'm living in Texas. So I think if you're in somewhere that's like primarily like hot throughout the year, like Texas or maybe California, Bermuda shorts can be worn so much longer throughout the year because it's, it stays hotter for a longer period of time. Um, and like just the interest of wearing boots with shorts and then like a jacket on top is really cute to me. I just think it's very different and eclectic. Um, and personally for me, like I don't get super cold from my waist down. Like it's usually the top. As long as, as, long as I'm covered on the top, I'm fine. Um, and so shorts are a huge must for me. Similarly to jeans, I love investing in a good pair of shorts and having different options because um, I feel like they serve a different purpose, like depending on the silhouette or the cut. And so I love that about clothes in general, but shorts and jeans specifically can really be versatile based on what you're pairing it with as far as top and jewelry and jacket and headwear goes. So I love that. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know uh, based on the shorts that I showed. Uh, also, this watering can can also be found on, Eagle, um, on uh, Vera Shop. And it's by Hay. It's kind of random, but I just saw it in behind me and I'm like, oh, I could talk about that. But yeah, these are the shorts. Um, I'll go over them one more time. So this is the relaxed mid-length denim short by Madewell. This is the baggy denim Bermuda shorts by Madewell as well. And then the the Parker Vintage Cutoff Shorts by A Goldie. All are so fun, so versatile. I chose these for a reason because I think oh, oops. denim and just denim shorts in general and um, specifically are a must for summer these days. 
Um, and they're also very comfortable and they will wear o over time perfectly for you. Um, I always want to make sure I'm talking about brands that I stand by when it comes to, you know, Bear Shop and talking about um, products to invest in. And so those I love. Um, and don't forget, you get an extra 15% off on all of these items now and until 30 minutes after the live stream ends. So don't forget to take advantage of that. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, my Instagram is mara.zick at, um, I guess, at mara.zick. And then my um, jewelry business that I was talking about earlier is Maracotta. Um, sorry, I missed. What brand are the shorts you're wearing? They're so cute. So yeah, these are, um, these are my Madewell. And I couldn't find these particular ones on the website, but something similar would have been the Agoldi ones that I have listed. Um, I have two listed, kind of like that. Um, longer in seam for me to short, relaxed fit. And then if you missed what I said about the sizing, um, all of the shorts that I have on here, personally, they're, they run a size bigger than my true size. So if you do plan on purchasing anything, um, you can size down one, one size, but then also if you do get the wrong size, you can always return them and ex or exchange them for your correct size. So what's what I love about shopping with Vera Shop. And I'm so excited for next week. I hope you guys can tune in. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be signing off here soon. But yeah. One last look, some cowboy boots, made well, uh, satin top. I was going to say silk. I always get those two mixed up. Satin top with some gold jewelry. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And thank you so much for joining me.